Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Alex Liddell, founder of EPC. Alex is going to talk to us a little bit about the advantages of gallium nitride used in LiDAR circuitry. Alex, uh, you've got a pretty cool demo set up here. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking well, at. Well, you're looking at a LiDAR image of our show, and uh, you could probably see me waving a little bit over there. Uh, the drone is up above us, uh, uh, taking a picture of this whole show. And gallium nitride is essential for accurate LiDAR because you can make a smaller uh, pulse of light that goes uh, at a higher current, so there's more light in a shorter period of time than you can with any other technology, and that's why it's used on all the autonomous cars and soon on augmented reality systems and lots and lots of drones around the world. How narrow a pulse are we talking about? Well, I think over here we have a demonstration where we're running an 8 amp uh, pulse into a laser in 4 nanoseconds, but the rise and fall time is about 200 picoseconds on either side. That's what determines the resolution of a LiDAR system in the third dimension. And if you're forced to use silicon, what's that pulse look like? Well, it'll be about uh, 10 nanoseconds rise and fall time, which means that you'll be able to resolve 10 or 15 feet at best. With us, you can resolve a couple of inches. Are uh, LiDAR systems starting to use gallium nitride? I think all the LiDAR systems that you see on the road today use gallium nitride and in particular EGAN FETs from EPC. Hmm. Well, Alex, that's a pretty interesting technology, so thanks for taking us through it. Thank you, Lee. It's a real pleasure.